Okay, at this time, let's go back to the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. At this time, press start. And do you have your square wave on the screen again? At this time, press channel one, where my fingertip is, the channel one button. Now, please look at soft menu items one through seven. These are very similar for all the modules, all the channels. I can turn the display on or off. Uh, I can label the channel. There's a place here to label it. I could put the word pressure there at soft menu button number three. At soft menu button number four, you can press that. I have DC or AC coupling or ground. This is traditional with oscilloscope or recorder. I can do the probe coupling. In my case, I have the blue 10 to 1 isoprobe. So I have 10 to 1 on my probe. If you press the button at the very bottom, soft menu number seven, it says next one of two. This takes you to the second page of soft menus. There's a very friendly way to get uh, the vertical scale to be customized. Button number one here says vertical scale per division. I can choose span. There's two choices there. Span can be very friendly and very custom. There's vertical zoom here, which we can talk about at another time. I have a presentation that will show you how to use vertical zoom to maximize your vertical resolution. And then uh, you can uh, so soft menu button number five is to invert the waveform. I just pressed it. My waveform got inverted. I'm going to press it again. This is linear scaling, soft menu button number Six, if you press that and turn it to AX plus B, which is the MX, Y equals MX plus B algebraic waveform, this simply lets you take a pressure transducer and multiply it times a factor to convert it to pressure in kilopascal or PSI. So this lets you customize that. I'm going to make sure mine stays turned off. All I'm doing now, if you see where my finger is in the little menu button there, I'm pressing the set button to rotate okay. through linear scaling. I'm going to turn it off. Okay, so you've seen okay. just a sample of the functions under a channel one button. They'll be very similar for all modules, but here's a very important button. If you can see the little DL850 video and see my finger, you see where it's pressing all channel buttons right here at the very bottom, below channel 14 and channel 15, all channel. Press all channel at this time. This is a very friendly Excel spreadsheet, similar to Excel spreadsheet. I can do the setup, which is soft menu button number one. Press soft menu button number one. In this menu, I can actually copy a module to another module, which is very fast. It's a very fast way to set up many channels. So this is individual channel setup, which we went through, and then uh, all channel as well. So uh, again, under the all channel menu, if you press the second soft menu button number two, which is linear scaling, this is a very friendly, fast way to set up scaling and labels. So this can be very fast with a keyboard and a mouse, and it's just a convenience. You may prefer to set up each channel by itself. Okay, at this time I'll show you how to label a channel. So press channel one button. After you press channel one, go to soft menu item number three, soft menu button number three, label channel one, press that. Go ahead and put your name in this editor here, or you can name the channel uh, after pressure or temperature. This is important, it gets you acquainted with the buttons and the menu layout on the DL850. So in this menu, this is a keyboard. You can use a real keyboard here too, a USB keyboard. I'm just using the set button and I'm just putting in my initials here. Then I hit enter. If I decide to rename it, there's a feature called history and I can bring up the old names there. So there are two ways to save the configuration. One way is to save it to a file 
which you can place on your USB thumb drive and archive it where no no one can delete it, okay? So press File, and then Save Setup. Soft menu button number two where my fingertip is here. And very similar to our previous exercise, you'll come in here and select where you want to save it. Press File menu button number one, File List. You'll set the path here equal to USB as we've done previously. I'm, I will hit Escape one time to get out of here. Soft menu button number two lets you name it with the keyboard editor. Okay. And then when I get ready to hit Execute Save, I've told it the name and the destination, USB thumb drive, and I will simply hit Execute Save and it will save it. So that's that's several key strokes, but it's actually very simple to do one one time. There's another way that is quicker. Press Setup at my fingertip, a hard button here called Setup. Press Setup. Go to Soft Menu button number seven, which is Setup Data Store Recall. And I, I believe that it's very intuitive here. You'll hit Store Exec. If I hit it while I'm still running, I'm, I have not hit Stop. It may have an error code. Um, in this case, I don't have memory. I do not have a USB thumb drive. I hope that you believe that's intuitive there, though. Uh, store exec. This stores it in memory. I'm using left right arrow. I'm going to hit set. And it saves it to number one. And I can name it. I have a customer name here and a date. This is non volatile. If you cycle the power here, it should be safe. However, your coworker can write over this very easily. So I recommend saving it with the file button. And the file will have an extension which is .set. So I could save a setup file named barry.set onto my USB thumb drive, and then I stand a, a good chance to archive it safely and securely away from my coworkers. Okay. Let's go back to the PowerPoint presentation. We're going to discuss all-channel vertical scale. We I've shown you the features. Here's the all-channel button again. Please press it. Press soft menu button number one, set up. And with the big knob here, use, use uh, the, your fingertip to select vertical scale on channel one or, or any channel. Then press the set button and select that. You'll get a drop down box. And just change the value. This is not important, but I'm going to select one volt per division. The point there, again, is to get some experience turning the, 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 the shuttle or jog knob here and the, the set button. So as long as everyone has that concept, we're going to move on to the next exercise. Okay, uh, so watch the screen. I'm going to press channel one. We're going to set uh, range a little bit differently uh, in a way that gives us the opportunity to customize uh, our, our vertical axis, the volts per division. So press channel one. Make sure that you're on the second page of the soft menu. In my case, I'm going to hit number seven and go to next one of two. If you're already on that page, it's okay. Your top button will say, soft menu button number one will say vertical scale. In my case, it says channel one or my label here, which is BBB. But here's vertical scale. It says division. That means volts per division. This is the default setting of the DL850. Press this button one time, select Span, Soft Menu button number two now has upper and lower settings. What I want you to do is press Soft Menu button number two several times to get comfortable with how that, that Soft Menu item behaves. The behavior of the Soft Menu item is, is uh, very common to all Yokogawa instruments. So if you would, at this time, set upper to a level that uh, makes your waveform larger. And I'll do the same thing here. OK, so what, you're doing, what you want to do here is basically zoom in on your waveform. Also get comfortable with how this works. OK, and I'm, I'm just playing with mine on the screen so you can, you can see what I'm doing to it. And you can use the knob too. Up, you can use the up-down arrow, 
or the knob, you can use the outer knob. Okay. So the concept here is that you can customize your vertical axis. Okay. So I have mine set up. Span. I'm from minus 200 millivolts to 1,100 millivolts at the top. I could set this for zero. So I'm at zero on the bottom. I'm now at 1,000 millivolts at the top. So this is just another way to set the range. Let's do cursor measurements. So if you have DL850 full video, go ahead and press the cursor button, which is at the tip of my finger here. Press type off soft menu button number one at my fingertip here. And press horizontal cursors. And then go ahead and uh, get acquainted with those. I will use the left and right arrow and then the big button, the big knob here to adjust the upper cursor. And then I'll do the same thing with the bottom most cursor. You can use that to make a peak-to-peak -peak voltage measurement or, or measure any portion of the waveform that, that you wish to measure uh, visually or more, more closely. you got left-right arrows that let you adjust the decimal place so you can adjust the cursor more slowly. And if you watch my screen, you'll see that the outer blue knob here actually also has a uh, accelerating movement. So it has uh, a, a faster way to move. And then you can fine tune. Okay, let's move to the linear scaling exercise. Everyone, pl please press channel one. Go to next one of two, soft menu button number seven. Make sure that you're on this second soft menu page. Press button number six. And I want you to use the left right arrow uh, to, to select it. Please select AX plus B with the set button. Please go to field A using the up and down arrow and press set on field A. Adjust field A, the scalar value A to number 30, quantity of 30, and then press set. This is very important. I'm going to show you a little, a slightly different way as well. Let's everyone please select field B. That's the y-intercept of the y equals mx plus b equation. We're going to do it a little bit different here. Press set. I want you to press num lock, which is right here by the scale knob. Press num lock. Now press the channel 13 button, which also corresponds to zero on the numerical keypad. Press channel 13, then hit set. You may need to attempt this a couple times. That's okay. Okay. Please select the field called unit string. This is where you put a, a real-world unit such as PSI. And I want you to put uh, a, a unit in there. You can put watt, W-A-T-T. -T. You could put PSI. Just choose an abbreviation. You could put AMP. Everyone, please just select and hit set on that field. And use the keyboard and, and, and put in a, a, a unit string there. Okay. Look on your screen. You should have, you know, some kind of a unit. You should be able to see your units on the scale values. We all set AX plus B. We all set a scale, scalar coefficient A. We all set a y-intercept or b value of zero. Hopefully everyone got a unit string in there. And where I want you to look on your screen is find that unit string. So on channel one, on the range values up at the top and the bottom, it'll say your unit string. It may say PSI or watts or whatever letters you put in there, okay? And that's that's all that does, okay? So hopefully everyone got the concept there. And uh, we'll move on to the next exercise.